Good Saturday morning. This is Chuck with Cyber Smart Web with part two of the W3 Total Cash plugin install. Um, I think I'm awake now. I've had one cup of coffee and I'm my second one. And what we're going to do today in this video is get ready to activate the plugin. There's a few things that need to be done before we do that. And if you watched uh, video one, I demonstrated the how fast a website was with it and and without this plugin installed. Um, on, on the blog post, uh, I have a link to the uh, plugin itself at WordPress where you can download it onto your desktop. And as many people know, this is the website that we're going to install it on. If you go to Plugins Add New, let's show you another way that you can install it. There's a little search bar here and you put in W3 Total Cash, search the plugins, and there it is right there, and you would just click Install Now. But don't activate it. Don't activate it! Not yet. <laughs> we have to do a couple of things um, from our C panel. So, let's go to, this is the, yeah, this is my Bluehost C panel, and it's very similar to the HostGator uh, C panel. So all of this will apply if you use either one of those hosting services. Um, if you don't, you should. Um, I think that they're the best. I use both of them. Um, yeah, I think they're the best. So here's what we got to do. We have to change the permissions to a couple of folders, to, to two folders in specific. We need to change it to both our WP content and our WP uploads folder. We need to change the permissions from 755 to 777, and then we're going to turn it back. Um, I know that sounds complicated, but it's not really. So once you are at, in your cPanel, if you scroll down a little bit, there's a, a file manager. okay? And if you click on that, it's going to give you a drop-down list of all your websites and uh, ask you which, which files you want to go to. okay? So once you do that, it's going to open up this window here, okay? You're going to have all your websites over on the left, and then whichever one you're going to click on is going to be over here on the right. So the first thing to do is find the the folder that uh, is, is for your website. This one is WP SEO Plugins. So when I click on that directly, okay, it's going to open up my WP Content folder, or not open it up, it's going to put it over here. So I click on that, and then right click, okay? And you're going to get a little drop down menu. Then click change permissions. Now this little box opens up, and you notice it's 755. And right, this is for uh, mod rewrite rules, you'll notice that there are two boxes that are not checked. So we're going to go ahead and check both of those boxes and that's going to change the permissions to 777 okay and then we click change permissions now that's in the WP content folder so if you go back over to the left hand side and you actually open up the folder for the website that you're working on and then click on the WP content folder it's going to open up your uploads folder okay same thing you click on that right click change permissions same box opens you click the same two okay change permissions okay we're gonna come back and put in and put them back the way they're supposed to be so I haven't uh, installed this so let's go ahead and do it okay and I'm going to go ahead, now that I've changed my permissions, I'm going to go ahead and activate the plugin. Okay. Now you should have a new widget area down here called Performance. And if you click that open, it's going to have a lot of different settings here, and we're going to go through those in the next video. Okay. But for now, we need to go back to our control panel. And now that we've actually activated the plugin, we can go back, right click, change permissions, 
Put it back to 755. Now click on the main folder itself for the website. Okay, now that's going to open up your WP content and give you access to it. Change permissions. There we go. I'll go through that again. So when you first come to your dashboard, find the, the main folder for whichever website you're going to do. In this case, it's WP SEO plugin. Just click it one time, and it's going to open up all your folders on the right-hand side. Okay, so then you click your WP content, then right click, and it's going to take you to change permissions, and, and then you can do that. Then, once you've done that, okay, it's going to, when you click on, uh, on this folder, it's going to open up your other folders, your subfolders. The second time, click on the WP content directly, and that's going to give you access to your uploads folder. And the same thing. Right click, change your permissions to seven, uh, 777, and then click change permissions and you're all good to go. So that is about it for getting this, uh, uh, getting this started. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go over how to have, there's, like I said, there's a lot of different settings in, in this plugin. It's, it's really fantastic. You're going to love it. And I would just like to see for a second, just by turning it on, if I've, if I've gotten any speed increases. Let's see, let's go back to the home. A little bit. We're going we're gonna to tweak it out. And once we do that, should see a definite increase in speed. And one thing i got to keep in mind also is that... Um, <clears throat> this uh, server box I have with Bluehost hasn't been acting uh, correctly in about nine months. <laughs> I have, I, have uh, I think, three different uh, Bluehost accounts. I have no problems with, with most of their uh, um, services, but for some reason, this is box 401, and it's been giving me a lot of problems. But uh, we're going to tweak this out in the next video. All right, thanks.